Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and one of the topics that has come up a lot over the last couple years and had a lot of articles written when it comes to this whole internet fitness debate about clean eating versus if it fits your macros is that many, many people say you can't actually define clean eating. You guys just give arbitrary standards. And that is true that a lot of people who try to talk about clean eating just give food lists without any real rules to it. And yeah, it is a valid criticism that when people say, well, minimally processed, well, everything that you eat is processed to some extent. Cooking is a process and cooking is actually a beneficial process, but it's processing foods. So let's give some clearly defined terms because people say you can't clearly define clean eating. I'm going to clearly define clean versus dirty foods as general guidelines, not fixed rules, general guidelines, which are good 90 to 95 percent of the time. And for most things, that's all you really need. If you've got general guidelines that work, you should be good to go when it comes to most of these topics. All right, how can we define clean foods? Well, clean foods would need to be foods that are going to be high in satiety, high in micronutrients, vitamins and minerals. Well, how does that happen? Usually when you have a lot of protein or you have a very high fiber to carbohydrate ratio, or at least the ratio of carbohydrates to fiber isn't as high uh, as it is in many heavily processed foods. So what you're looking for is going to be any food that a high percentage of its calories come from protein. If a food, at least 30% of its calories come from protein in its natural state, we're not talking about cooked completed dishes with seven different ingredients. We're talking about the base foods that you're starting with, whether it's flour or a piece of meat or fruit or vegetable, whatever, whatever it is that you started with as an ingredient into your food. That's your base foods we're looking at here. If at least 30% of its calories are coming from protein, it is probably going to be a clean food with a very high satiety and lots of vitamins and minerals if that's how it's found in its natural form. Also for any sort of carbohydrate source, even if it doesn't have a lot of carbs, if it has a large amount of fiber versus other carbohydrate, it is probably going to count as a clean food. So we can define clean foods as any food that has a high percentage of its calories coming from protein or that has a very good fiber to non-fiber carb ratio in it because those are your foods that have the most vitamins and minerals and the highest satiety in general. So how do we define dirty foods? The exact opposite. Any food that is both low in protein and low in fiber when compared to its carbohydrate content. Pretty straightforward guys. So there are rules you can actually use that are tangible, measurable, quantifiable rules that you can use to determine if foods are clean or dirty or not. Now as to how much clean versus dirty food you should be eating, that's a whole nother debate. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative and I will talk to you guys next time.